people sing in the lounge. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen, Anderson, Bates, Bell, Berryhill, Block, Canella, De Leon, Fuller, Gaines, Galjani, Glazer, Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, Hertzberg, Hill, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, Lou, McGuire, Mendoza, Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, Morrell, Wynn, Nielsen, Pan, Pavley, Roth, Runner, Stone, Fidak, Wykowski, Wolk. Members, a quorum is present. Would the members and our guests be on the rail and in the gallery please rise. We will be led in prayer this morning by Chaplain Sister Michelle Gorman, after which we will please remain standing and we will be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by Senator Monning. Thank you. Let us center ourselves in God's presence. O oh God, who weeps at fractured lives, inspire us to heal the hurting. Help us to seal the cracks created by the breaching of boundaries. Guide us to love each one who stands slightly off center, including ourselves, because of the fissures in our souls. May we continue to search for justice for ourselves, for our communities, for our world, that we may find in the midst of the search wholeness. Amen. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sorry to move that on for you. Senator Pan, under privileges of the floor, members, Senator Pan, at the pro tem's desk. Please proceed. Thank you, Madam President, Senators. It is my tremendous pleasure to introduce the Science Olympiad teams from Mira Loma High School. Oh, did I hear you? Come on. Apologize. They are on their way, not a problem. All right, they are here. Again, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce the Science Olympiad teams from Mira Loma High School and Winston Churchill Middle School. After winning the state competition earlier this year, both teams traveled to the University of Wisconsin last month to represent California in the 2016 Science Olympiad National Tournament. These students competed with teams from all over the nation at the highest level of academic achievement in science, technology, engineering, and math. The tournament attracted more than 70,000 students, coaches, and parents from all 50 states. Members, to have one school come home a winner from this elite competition is certainly a very big deal. But to have two winning schools right here in Sacramento is an incredible achievement. So I'm very proud to have here uh, both teams here on the floor as well as up here in the gallery. And uh, members, please uh, congratulate the Mira Loma High School Science Olympiad team, which won first place in the high school division. Congratulations. Welcome, Mira Loma High School students. <laughs> and the Winston Churchill Middle School Science Olympiad team, which won second place in the middle school division across the country. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you, Senator Pan. Senator Nielsen, would you like to present SCR 138? If I may, Madam Absolutely. President. Absolutely. Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Concurrent Resolution 138 by Senator Nielsen relative to State Park Rangers. Senator Nielsen. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, uh, this is a special day. We're celebrating and acknowledging the 150th anniversary of our California State Parks. 
In 1866, Galen Clark, truly a famous guardian of Yosemite State Park, and it was a state park before it was a national park, a little known factoid, it became our first state park. Since then, our park rangers have continuously worked to expand and protect our parks throughout California. There's, I believe now, some, let me see, 200 or so state parks throughout this state. In all of our districts, these are recognized by the Department of Parks and Recreation, the State Parks Rangers Association, the California State Parks Anniversary Committee, and the State Parks and Recreation Commission. Over many decades, thousands of Californians have served in these capacities. And I know that you have toured your parks and your districts. As we stand here right now, our rangers and people are working in our parks, opening them up to the citizens that we represent. With us today, we have Mr. Uh, Galen Clark in period costume. Uh, and from the pictures, I can say that uh, he looks an awful lot like Galen Clark. <laughs> Acting Chief Deputy Carl Knapp from the State Park Rangers Association, Vice President Sue Neary. Director Ann Mendeguzzi, Director Mike Lynch, who is the chair of the Ranger 150 Committee to celebrate this great anniversary. And of the State Parks Anniversary Committee, Chairman Scott Liskey. They are here with us today, and we're going to present them with a resolution from the State Senate acknowledging this historic anniversary, 150 years of preserving our heritage. Congratulations to all of you who are the continued stewards of the legacy of Galen Clark. God love you. Congratulations and welcome. <laughs> Members, we will first vote on the resolution and then you'll have an opportunity to go take a picture. Mr. S Mr. Secretary, pl please read. Please call the roll. Allen. I. Anderson. I. Bates. I. Bell. I. Berryhill. Block. I. Canella, I. De Leon, Fuller, Gaines, Galgioni, I. Gaines, I. Glazer, I. Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, I. Hertzberg, Hill, I. Wesso, I. Huff, I. Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, I. Lou, McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, I Morell, I Wynn, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley, Roth, I Runner, Stone, I Vidak, I Wykowski, Walk, Walk I. Please call the absent members. Barry Hill. De Leon, Fuller, Hall, Hancock, Hertzberg, Jackson, Lada, Leno, Lou, I, Mitchell, I, Monning, Pavley, Monning, I, Pavley, Runner, Wykowski. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I Hancock, I. Hancock, I. Ayes 29, no zero, the measure passes. Thank you, members. If you would like to take a photograph, please do, and then we will move on. Senator Mendoza, are you ready to present SCR 130? Yes, please proceed. Mr. Secretary, please read. File item 24, members. Senate Concurrent Resolution 130 by Senator Mendoza relative to Portugal Day. Senator Mendoza. Thank you, Madam President and members. I'm here to present SCR 130 and is back from the, the Assembly for concurrence. This resolution commemorates Portugal Day. Every 10th of June, 
the Portuguese community celebrate their national holiday known as Portugal Day. This day commemorates the death of Luis de Camões, a significant figure in the history of Portugal. Camões is best known for his work on Lucidas, the national epic poem of Portugal that celebrates the nation's successes and rich history. Although this holiday is only celebrated officially in the homeland, Portuguese citizens throughout the world, especially here in California, honor Portugal Day. Today we celebrate it, we celebrate it in California. Assembly Amendment Simply Added Co-Authors, SCR 130, has received unanimous support and I respectfully ask for your eye vote today. Thank you, Senator Mendoza. Mr. Secretary, please read. Allen, aye. Anderson, Bates, aye. Bell, Berryhill, Block, aye. Canella, aye. De Leon, Fuller, aye. Gaines, aye. Galjoni, aye. Glazer, aye. Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, aye. Hertzberg, Hill, aye. Hueso, aye. Huff, I Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, I Morlock, I Morell, I Wynn, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley, Roth, I Runner, Stone, I Vidak, I Wykowski, Wolk, Wolk I. Please call the absent members. Anderson, I. Bell, Berryhill, De Leon, Hall, Hancock, Hertzberg, Jackson, Lada, Leno, Pavley, Runner, Wykowski. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Eyes 28, no zero. The assembly amendments are concurred in. Mr. Senator Mendoza. Thank you so much, Madam President. Members, um, as you can tell, we have the, the flag of Portugal flying at the podium this morning in honor of distinguished guests here in the back of the chambers. The Portuguese community has contributed much, of, much to our state in the fields of business, medicine, technology, politics, agriculture, and many others. Additionally, their positive influence over the power, prowess of their agricultural uh, uh, um, uh, agricultural presence, um, especially in the dairy industry. Today, over 350,000 Portuguese live in the state of California and continue to make valuable contributions to our state. It is with great pleasure that I introduce Mr. Nuno Matias, Consul General of Portugal in San Francisco. The Consul General holds a, deg a degree of law from the anonymous, Autonomous University of Lisbon and a postgraduate degree in European studies from the Catholic University of Lisbon. Mr. Matthias has served as Consul General of Portugal since 2012. During this time, he has been a credit to his country and an asset here to the United States. It is my honor and pleasure to also introduce to you some special guests in the chamber from throughout the state. We have Mr. Lino Amaral, CEO of Luso America Life Insurance Society, Mr. Albert Dutra, Portuguese Heritage Society, we have Mr. Manuel Bentecourt, Mr. Eduardo Eusebio. Um, we also have Mr. Desio Oveda. We have Mr. John Salvador, who is the executive officer for the PFSA. We have Mr. Felipe Costa. Uh, he's also he's with the Council General for the Economic and Commercial Affairs. Uh, there are also many guests in the gallery and throughout the Capitol here celebrating this special occasion. To conclude, I would like to present the Consul General Resolution commemorating Portugal Day, and I welcome all the members to come to the back and take a picture with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator Mendoza, and welcome to your Senate floor.
All right, members, messages from the governor will be deemed read. Messages from the assembly will be deemed read. Reports of committee will be deemed read. Are there any motions, resolutions, or notices? Seeing none, we will move on to consideration of the daily file. Second reading file, Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Resolution 77, Assembly Bill 2024 with amendments, 2106, 2910, 241 with amendments, 1660, 2212, 2621, 2738, 2537, and Assembly Bill 326 with amendments. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Second reading will be considered read. Unfinished business. Members, we are going to move on to file item 25. Senator Nielsen, not at his desk. Senator Nielsen, would you like to present file item 25? Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Concurrent Resolution 141 by Senator Nielsen relative to Slavic Heritage Day. Senator Nielsen. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, this resolution celebrates Slavic Heritage Day. A very substantial number of Slavic Americans who have come here from the Slavic countries to settle. You've heard me speak of them on many occasions. Over 100,000 just in the Sacramento area. And they've come to become very loyal and productive citizens of the United States. Uh, they've uh, just distinguished themselves as, as good citizens. But they, like other ethnicities, have maintained their heritage and their customs. Very rich if you go to their events but we would uh, ask that the Senate would also acknowledge Slavic Heritage Day with this resolution. I urge an I vote. Thank you, Senator Nielsen. Members, is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen, aye. Anderson, Bates, aye. Bell, aye. Berryhill, Block, Canella, aye. De Leon, Fuller, Gaines, aye. Galgioni, aye. Glazer, I Hall, I Hancock, Hernandez, I Hertzberg, I Hill, I Hueso, I Huff, I Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, I I Lou, McGuire, I Mendoza, Mitchell, I Monning, I Morlock, I Morrell, I Win. Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Aye. Nielsen? Aye. Pan? Aye. Pavley? Aye. Roth? Aye. Runner? Stone? Aye. Vidak? Aye. Wykowski? Aye. Wolk? Please call the absent members. Okay. Anderson? Aye. Berryhill? Block? Aye. De Leon? Fuller? Hancock? Jackson? Lada? Leno? Lou? I runner. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Eyes 32, no zero. The assembly amendments are concurred in. Members, we are going to return to motions and resolutions. This would be the appropriate time for adjourn in memories. Without objection, the Senate journals for June 6th through June 9th, 2016 will be approved as corrected by the minute clerk. Seeing no objection, thank you. Adjourn in memories. Senator Monning, for what purpose do you rise? Adjourn in memory. Proceed, please proceed. Thank you, Madam President, members. Uh, members, I rise to ask that we adjourn today in memory of Helen Favela Chavez, who died earlier this week at the age of 88 in Bakersfield. She was born in Brawley in 1921, the daughter of parents who immigrated from Mexico. She lived much of her adult life in Delano and Keene, California, at the national monument known as Nuestra Señora Reina de la Paz, which served as the headquarters of the United Farm Workers of America. Helen Chavez was the wife of Cesar Chavez and the mother of their eight children. She is survived by seven of her children, 31 grandchildren, and 16 great-grandchildren while it is Cesar Chavez who is credited with the formation and building of the UFW with Dolores Huerta, Larry Itilang, and many others, many don't recognize the contributions made by Helen Chavez. 
Helen Chavez not only raised the family's eight children, she also was in every manner a partner in building the union. Before their efforts to organize the United Farm Workers Union, Helen and Caesar worked with a community services organization which focused on voter registration and the empowerment of Mexican Americans. As they embarked on creation of the first successful farm labor union, Caesar traversed the state of California organizing while Helen Chavez attended to much of the young union's administrative work. She helped administer the union's early funeral benefit program and its credit union for many years. These programs were run from the Chavez home that doubled as the union's offices in Delano. Helen served as the primary breadwinner for the family, working in the grapes for up to 10 hours a day when pay was 85 cents an hour. The recent feature film Chavez captured some of Helen's many contributions to the building and sustaining of the union. Clearly, she was a pillar of support for Caesar and their children, but she also put herself on the line as she was arrested on picket lines and stood vigil with Caesar during his long and sometimes life-threatening fasts, jailings, and sacrifice. Helen's arrests on some of the early picket lines emboldened other women to join as active union members. After Caesar's death in 1993, it was Helen who accepted the Presidential Medal of Freedom in Caesar's memory at the White House in 1994. Helen Chavez will be remembered by those who knew her as a no-nonsense woman who knew how to get things done. But Helen also had a soft and compassionate side that is reflected and will live with the Chavez children and their families. It was an honor and a privilege to know Helen and Cesar Chavez and the Chavez family. At this time of such great loss to the Chavez family, we send our condolences and deep appreciation to all of the Chavez family as they sacrificed so much to pursue and build the dream that became the United Farm Workers Union. Members, please join me in adjournment in memory of Helen Fabula Chavez. Viva Helen Chavez. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Monning. Please make sure to bring her name forward so we can properly memorialize her. Members, we are going to momentarily return to privileges of the floor. Senator Fuller, for what purpose do you rise? A purpose of resolution. Please proceed. Dear Mr. President and members, on behalf of the Republican Caucus, I rise today to congratulate two valuable Senate Republican Caucus staff members and wish them the very best in their new endeavors. Joe Shinstock and Gary Link. <laughs> uh, for the past decade, Joe Shinstock has served as a key fiscal consultant for the Senate Republican Caucus and as the Republican lead consultant for the Senate Appropriations Committee. He has provided valuable guidance and recommendations regarding fiscal and policy issues. We want to thank him for his service and to the Senate and to wish him and his family the very best. While Joe is leaving the Senate Republican Caucus, he has not left the building. He is recruited by the Assembly Republican Caucus to help guide their legislative policy agenda and has joined them earlier in the spring. Gary Link joined the Senate Republican Caucus in 2011 and has served as the lead policy consultant for Veteran Affairs and Public Employment Retirement Reform Committees. Gary, an active volunteer in the community, has served the caucus with great distinction. The Senate has greatly benefited from his expertise and dedication, and we wish him the very best for him and his family. He will be joining the team at Ducks Unlimited and will prove to be a great asset to them. I would like to present each of them with a resolution in recognition of their services. Thank you, Senator Fuller. Members, is there any discussion or debate? Senator Nielsen. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, let me join Senator Fuller in acknowledging these two fine gentlemen, Mr. Shinstock and Mr. Link. I've had the pleasure in my capacity as Vice Chairman of the Budget Committee and Chairman of the Veterans Committee to deal extensively with both of them. In my many years around this building, they are of the highest level of professionalism and thoroughness and respect among the folks who deal with the Budget Committee and the Veterans Committee. Thank you for your many years of service, and we're glad that we can continue to profit from your expertise and your abilities. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Nielsen. Congratulations, gentlemen, and thank you for all of your help.
Senator Leva. Thank you, Madam President. Members, it is with great sadness that I ask that we adjourn in memory today of Sean O'Connell, a council member and ret retired police sergeant of the city of Rialto. Former colleagues note that Sean's strong work ethic and no-nonsense attitude allowed him to quickly rise to the rank of police sergeant. He also helped run a patrol team, worked on a bike team, and served as a SWAT crisis negotiator. In 1998, the Rialto Police Department named Sean Officer of the Year. Sean retired from the department in 2004 after a serious vehicle accident left him in a wheelchair. While never intending to run for elected office, Sean became inspired by his own mother's public service as an East Coast School Board member and decided to run for City Council. Elected in 2012 to the Rialto City Council, Sean's passion for serving the community inspired his active involvement with police the police department and youth programs. Today, the California State Senate stands with the O'Connell family as they mourn their tremendous loss following Sean's passing. Please join me in adjourning in the memory of Sean O'Connor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Leva. Sen Senator Allen. Members, uh, last week you'll remember that as we were casting our votes for the, for the House of Origin deadline, uh, there was a terrible incident taking place at UCLA where we had an active shooter on our campus uh, in, at UCLA. And we, of course, found out that a wonderful professor uh, lay dead at the end of the day. And I, I wanted to, to rise with great sadness to adjourn in, in his memory today. His, he's a constituent of mine, lived in El Segundo, and taught at UCLA. His name was William Klug. And obviously his life was cut short senselessly when he was murdered by a former student. He was 39 years old. And he was, all by, by all accounts, a brilliant professor and an even better man who, in the competitive word, world of academia, was renowned for an uncommon compassion and tendency to treat colleagues and students as intellectual equals. He was a beloved and longtime resident who grew up in the South Bay. Klug attended Westmont College as an undergrad. He received his master's degree in civil engineering from UCLA. He was awarded a doctorate from Caltech in 2003. In that same year, he was hired on at the faculty at, at UCLA, ultimately holding appointments in mechanical aerospace and bioengineering before pr being promoted to full professor just last year. In his research, Professor Klug was working to apply biomechanics to cardiology in hopes of furthering our knowledge about the electromechanics of the heart. In the classroom, he was an adept teacher who could illustrate the most difficult concepts with extreme clarity. That's a direct quote from one of his students. He was a positive and encouraging mentor. He invited students to his home for barbecues in the summer. And he was encouraged initially to go into teaching by his wife, Mary Elise, who he met while attending Westmont. And together, they were raising two young children. And on weekends, Bill could be seen taking his kids surfing in Manhattan Beach, coaching Little League in El Segundo, or attending Dodgers games. A deeply devout Christian man, Professor Klug had the ability to bring out the better angels and the nature of those who knew him. He's already deeply missed by the Bruin family and the South Bay community he called home. And I ask that the Senate adjourn in his memory. Thank you, Senator Allen. Please make sure you bring his name forward so we can properly memorialize him. Senator Glazer, for what purpose do you rise? Under motions and resolutions. Please proceed. Uh, Madam President, I'd like to ask that uh, SR 69 on the suspense file uh, be, uh, it's A9, be removed. So noted. Members, if there is no further business, Senator Allen, your mic is still up. Did you have something else? Okay, very good. If there is no other business, Senator Monning, one moment. Members, if there is no other business, Senator Monning, the desk is clear. Thank you, Madam President. We'll stand in adjournment. We'll reconvene Monday at noon. Monday at noon, members. See you then. Have a safe, good weekend. Thank you, Senator Monning. The Senate will be in recess until all legislative business is received at the desk, at which time the adjournment motion will be made. We will reconvene Monday at noon. Have a great weekend, everyone.